Well, good afternoon, guys, from Alcantarilla here in the Silves district. I just stopped off here for some lunch. Had a nice uh, bifana, uh, pork steak, if you will. And I thought we'll do a little video of uh, this quaint little town. It's uh, one of those small little settlements up on a hill that uh, few tourists come to see. But there's one thing I wanted to show you guys, and it's this way. So, walking along this street, this is like the main high street, or commercial street. It's a uh, quiet Tuesday afternoon, and um, I just had a beef on it, like I said, and it was the hottest piri piri I've ever had. So while I'm sniffing, it's not Corona, it's the old uh, piri piri. But take a look at this. This is the old mausoleum. These places were used as hospitals back in the day. And they fly and cross the busy street. Well, take a look. Got the old iron doors and a little notice here explaining all about it. So apparently it was built in 1586 under the reign of King Philip I of Portugal, who was also the King of Spain. And these are the main features which have survived. Now I'm having to do all of this on my phone because I forgot the old uh, selfie stick. But yeah, take a look. We've got the cross up the top, even higher up, we've got the crucifix that is mounted way up high to denote that it's uh, a church. Now it's probably used as a mausoleum for funerals or even, I suppose, a hospital back in the day, like I was saying, but uh, now it's just one of those little monuments that people really go to. Take a look at this. So navigating these narrow cobbled roads which are not designed for modern day cars. Originally these streets would have been used for horse and carts but now obviously with uh, everyone having a vehicle they've sort of uh, managed to squeeze them through these uh, narrow cobbled streets and here we've still got some of the cobbles left tarmac hasn't quite reached Alcantarilla now this is what I wanted to show you the old church this church has something quite uh, interesting inside it well to the side of it this is actually the uh, Chapel dos Ossos, the Chapel of Bones. Now, for those of you who watched the Evera video up in the north, we went to the huge bone chapel up there where thousands of bones cover quite a big sort of chapel. But uh, I thought, let's come here and have a look at the Algarves, or this side of the Algarves, very own bone chapel. So, this is one of the first bone chapels I went to as a kid. Obviously, uh, since I uh, last came here, the uh, local church and the council have put these railings in so people don't uh, go too far in or damage anything. But even still, look, we're only... Ah, a few centimetres from the actual bones. To think these are hundreds, maybe even up to a thousand people who were buried in the local cemetery. And then, back in the day, they decided to make this chapel out of the bones to make, new, make room for the new graveyard. See up there we've got leg bones, 
you've got the skulls. Obviously some have been damaged over time, like here. But wow, even this side. Thousands and thousands of hip bones, skulls, femurs. All done in to make this little altar right the way up. Originally there used to be a crucifix up there, but that's since been removed. But even up on the ceiling. Wow. I'm going to get a, a thumbnail. Maybe that might work, I'm not sure. But uh, it's amazing how these... Uh, Old churches have hidden things in and around them. A small little town in central Portugal has this incredibly old bone chapel. Now there's only one more I think in Faro, which is slightly bigger. And then you've got the biggest in uh, Evora, and I think there's another one in Lisbon. But let's go in and take a look at the actual church. The parish church of Alcantarilla. So let's go and have a look at uh, the church. Now, there used to be a sign here that said about the Chapel of Bones, but it's since been removed. I'll try and find some information on the internet. But all that remains is this, the old sign. Chapella dos Ossos, the Chapel of Bones. Right, let's head into the parish church. As you can see, some of these buildings are incredibly old. Left over from pre-revolutionary. So we're inside the church of Alcantarilla and look we've got the Fatima shrine. Let's go and have a look. As you can see we've got Mary and we've got two other figures here. We've got the uh, modern day electric uh, candles, one burning away but Personally, I prefer the traditional candles which you can light, but... And here we've got the font. This is probably one of the oldest parts of the church, other than the altar. That's the old top there, and the old tiles all the way around. And the Paschal candle in the back, used at Easter. Soon this will be uh, reused again for uh, up and coming up, up and coming up up and coming Easter. Here we've got uh, the old statues of uh, Christ and Mary. These would be used on uh, Easter processions, Jesus carrying the cross. They're incredibly old and dressed in uh, real clothes, just to give it a bit more authenticity. And of course, they're um, paraded around the street, around the city, at the beginning of the service and at the end. This happens just like that once a year as a one-off special occasion, but it's quite interesting to see. I don't know if this year they'll do something like that, but take a look at the main altar. All the gold. And again, Portugal being the place of Mary, we've got the Madonna. Mary again, and Jesus as a youngster. We've got a crucifix. And a really nice smell from that bouquet. Sort of a floral smell. And another 
सर ओर सर थ्री ओ क्लॉक राइट लेट्स हेड ऑफ आउट इन टू द फ्रेश एयर इन टू द सन टुडे इट्स थर्टी डिग्रीज इन फेब्रुअरी हु वुड हैव थॉट इट एंड इज दैट एनी होली वाटर ऑफ कोर्स नॉट Well guys that is uh Alcantarilla. We've got uh a nice old little town with its own bone chapel. Anyway guys this was only a short little video to show you something a little bit different. So until the next video we'll see you somewhere else. Another little town maybe. Until then have a good week.